lot has happened with Ava since um, the last time that we vlogged. She actually jumped out of her crib about two weeks ago at 2 a.m. I could hear her like stirring so I woke up and turned over checked her monitor and she's standing up and she threw all of her bedding and stuff all out of her crib and the next thing I know her hands are on the rail her feet are climbing it and she's over it <laughs> it was a bad night that night she did not want to go back to sleep obviously once she jumped out once that was it um she just tried to keep doing it the whole night but all i did that night was basically once i could see that she was not going to go back to sleep without me doing something to restrict her from jumping out i just put her straight back in her wearable blanket so that she couldn't get a grip with her feet on the rails and then couldn't obviously separate her legs wide enough to get one over and she tried for probably 10 minutes once she realized she couldn't do it that was it she laid down and she went back to sleep the next day i was like okay do i need to buy a toddler bed like what's gonna happen now and i went on taking care of babies on their instagram they were the ones that helped me sleep train her i absolutely took i took all three of their courses and i absolutely loved them um can't recommend them enough so i was like that's the person who i'm gonna go to to see what to do and she said that babies or toddlers really aren't ready to get out of the crib until they're between the ages of like three and four and it's because they at the age of two they can't fully comprehend the idea if they have to stay in bed um so they just keep getting up in the night so i was like okay so i'll show you what i ended up doing and this was like um, taking care of babies this is what they said to do and to try all of these options basically before putting them in a toddler bed so the first one is to turn the crib around so that's exactly what I did at 2 a.m. Um, I turned her crib around as you can see the high part which is the back is now at the front so that blocked one sort of way because she there's no way she can get over that blocked one entrance so she only had this side that worked pretty well except she kept trying to come to this corner and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to wake up in th at 3 a.m. and then at 4 a.m. because she got over here. So I just put her straight back. This was, it was a different wearable blanket. But I put her straight back in her wearable blanket because that's what the second thing that they said to try and do. Is put them in a wearable blanket so that they can't really get their legs over. And that worked. So right now she's back in a wearable blanket. I actually ordered this one the day after it happened because her wearable blanket she grew out of. This one is so lightweight. And I'll leave it linked down below. I actually can't find the name right now, but it's extra large, so it's good for like her age, and she's tall. Yeah, that wasn't a fun evening in the middle of the night, but now, that was two weeks ago, and now with the crib turned around and her back in a wearable blanket, she's now slept for two weeks, and she hasn't even tried to jump out of the crib again. So I'm not gonna move her to a toddler bed yet, not until she tries again. Um, once I feel that it's not safe anymore, then I will move her to a toddler bed. And the second thing that's happened is we actually got rid of the dummy. So she had it obviously since she was a baby and she turned two a month ago yesterday. I knew once she hit the age of two that that's sort of what I wanted to do was to get rid of it completely. The experience of getting rid of it couldn't have gone any better. Like she, she dropped it like it was nothing. She didn't even cry. I was shocked. Like, obviously so happy that she sort of got over it quick, but I was I was shocked. It literally was the best it ever could have gone. So I wanted to come on here and actually kind of mention how I got rid of her dummy so easily with, like, literally no tears. All she would do is just sort of get upset and pout and ask for it, but once she understood and I talked her through it, there was no tears, no crying in the middle of the night, no me having to sort of re-sleep train her kind of thing, nothing like that. She fully fell asleep that night and slept all through the night. It was not an issue at all. And what I did was, once she got to 12 months old, um, I stopped her having the dummy throughout the day. Um, so she would only have it for when she was sleeping, so at night or nap time. 
or if she was teething or very upset or anything like that that was um then i would still give it to her but like generally throughout the day no she wouldn't have it um obviously she had that she did that for a year so she knew when she woke up in the morning she was to drop her dummy in her crib and it stayed there and then she would get it at nap time and then at night time and that was the routine and then basically the night <laughs> i was just like you know what it's like tonight is the night that we're taking it away that was it so i sat her down before bed and i said ava you know your dummy's dummy's gonna go bye bye today you know you're not gonna have it anymore so you can snuggle on your little unicorn instead and unicorn is gonna help you sleep but dummy went bye bye okay and she can understand that now like she knows what that means and i wanted to mention that i started this at night not nap time because i know if i had done that at nap time she would have she wouldn't have slept her, for her nap and then her night would have been like completely ruined so i started it at night that way she she would have slept eventually um but it actually wasn't an issue at all that first night um she stirred for like 10 15 minutes like she always does anyway and then she grabbed her little unicorn blankie hi Bobby, which she's actually carrying around now um but and then she was she was asleep and then she didn't even wake up in the night um but that is another thing i wanted to mention around the age of probably 18 months is when i gave her a little lovey bobby can you show mommy unicorn thank you so this is the one i got her it's from target it's a little unicorn lovey blanket so i gave that to her when she was 18 months to associate with comfort as, as well as her dummy so that when i took the dummy away she had something else that she was already attached to and i think it worked like a charm because it was such a good experience of getting rid of the dummy. So the other day I was scrolling TikTok. I saw mums go into Walmart and they found this like waffle knit clothing for toddlers and they were like, um, Walmart is stepping up their toddler clothing game and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go down to my Walmart. Um, Ava needs some new clothes for winter, some warmer clothes. So I'm gonna go see what I can find. And so I'm gonna show you what I got. I didn't find those ones that they were talking about anywhere. But I did find a bunch of other stuff. So the first thing I got her were these little unicorn pajamas. And she's in the size 2T to 3T. Um, but she's obsessed with unicorns. So when I saw these pajamas, I was like, okay, I have to get her those. And then obviously had to get her some Halloween pajamas as well. These are so cute. And then they have a new line of clothing there that I hadn't seen before. Maybe it's not new, but it's called Gar Animals. Gar Animals, yeah. And that's pretty much where all the rest of these clothes are from. But I got her a few long-sleeved t-shirts like this that are cute and ruffled at the bottom. Um, I got her a pink one, a black one, and a white one. Perfect for like layering um, outfits in the winter. And then I got her a little sweatshirt as well that has stars on it. She loves stars. And then I got her a little rain jacket for the winter. And this was like $25 or something. It's from Swiss Tech. And it runs a little bit big, so I got her in 18 months. Um, the pattern is super cute, and, and the inside is so warm and fluffy. And then the outside is obviously completely waterproof. It has little pockets, and the hands actually can be covered. It is a beautiful morning. I have the back door open for the first time um, in months since like spring. So it is just so nice. And now Ava's going to have her breakfast. So she's got an oatmeal blueberry muffin and then some strawberries. Is that yummy? Yeah, you love your strawberries, don't you? That's a muffin. Muffin. <laughs> Just got back from a really, really good walk. Oh, the weather is so nice, but I definitely worked up a sweat, but that's good. Oh, now I can start the day and it's gonna be a really good day. <laughs> So Ava and I are going to do a quick little trip to Home Depot now. Um, I need some rocks for the front of my house. Um, they dug it all up and now I need to put some new ones down so it looks nice and fresh. Um, but this is my outfit for going to Home Depot. The shorts are from Target and the top is the Walmart top. So comfortable and I can't wait to actually go out and not be like sweating hot. It's going to be so nice. So those are what I meant by I needed stones. I just needed a few more to make that area look a little less muddy. 
and then I just washed all of this down so now it looks a lot so this is what I eat for my snack or lunch every day it's a one bell pepper cut up um, <laughs> with um, a little bit of Philadelphia and then I sprinkle everything bagel seasoning on top it is nice and healthy quick and yummy I don't really have anything much more interesting going to happen the rest of the day, so I think I'm just going to end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.